So in this problem, we're given uh, the circle, uh, which has a center P, and it is tangent to these two perpendicular lines. Question is, which of the following is an equation of the circle with center P? So a couple different ways we can do. We can actually just start with either with this point and test these equations. Uh, that's one way to do it. Uh, so this would be 1 squared plus 3 squared. Is that equal to square root of 10? That's actually 10. So this one is out. And this would be 1 minus 3 squared plus 3 minus 3 squared. That's uh, 4, because this would be 0. Again, this one is out. And then this would be 1 minus 1 squared plus 3 minus 3 squared. Is that equal to 20? That's actually 0 plus 0. And then we're left with that one. I think this is the reason why this is a considered an easier problem. Because you can just plug in one point, and uh, this would be 9 plus 1, which is indeed 10. So that one works. And then finally, this one would be 3 minus 2 squared. Is that equal to 20? 3 squared would be 9 plus 1. Again, it's not equal to 20. So we can just, just by using one point that's on the circle, we can get to the answer. And that's why this is easy. But a couple things here, maybe some concepts that are going to help in other problems, uh, is if we draw this line, that line, these are radius. And a radius drawn from the center of a circle is perpendicular to the tangent. So that's 90 degrees, that's 90 degrees. And therefore, this would be 90 as well. So that's the radius this is the radius. Opposite sides are going to be equal. So this is a square here. We can find the radius. That would be the distance between this point to the origin. And uh, we can apply the distance formula. So this would be square root of 10. So the radius is square root of 10. So the equation of the circle would be x minus h square plus y minus k square equal to r square. r square here would be 10. So we know that we've narrowed it down between that and this. And then another thing we could do is to um, either substitute one of these points to narrow it between these two, which we already did, and we'll find that this is the answer. Or you can visually see that uh, center of 3, 3 would be uh, here. Sorry. Whereas 4, 2 makes sense. It's uh, This distance is 3. So you go further up to 4, and then you go down 2. So this makes sense. So you could do it that way too. Um, the longest way would be to actually where um, you weren't given any of these equations and you had to create. In that case, you would have to find the center, and that would be a little bit involved. Uh, but in this particular case, we can just uh, take these shortcuts to get to the answer, which is... D.